this. He was not actually a professional historian. He was by trade uh, a senior official of a German domestic intelligence service who wrote history in his spare time. And his day job, so to speak, gave him the means to exert pressure on a very prestigious Munich research institute, the famous um, Institute for Contemporary History in Munich. And I found some documentation which historians were not aware of before, which shows quite categorically that Tobias literally blackmailed the director of the institute into accepting Tobias's, at the time, rather controversial theory that Marinus van der Lubbe had burned the Reichstag by himself and the Nazis weren't involved. And because of the prestige of the Institute for Contemporary History, that view then took hold among historians, and that really is why most historians today, in fact, uh, accept the so-called single culprit theory, the Marinus van der Lubbe theory.